And now, live in studio, offering you a fresh perspective, an unbiased perspective, different from those disconnected talking heads of the media. He's an author, a coach, a real estate and finance expert, and he's committed to teaching you how to win in any marketplace. Your host of the Real Estate Quarterback Show, Brandon Rimes. All right, here we are again, another day committed to picking a fight with the mainstream media, providing you the timely truth centered around real estate, credit, finance, estate planning, tax planning, and so much more. We're going to touch on some current events here happening in the Tampa Bay market as well. And uh, we got our all NBA all-star Kevin Durant selling his Lux Miami condo. We're going to touch on that and more from our experts in studio. And we've got first up is going to be Mark Spence back in studio, repeat offender, Mark Spence, he's the VP of Integrity Financial Services. Welcome back, Mark. Thanks for having me, Brandon. I'm uh, excited to be here. we got a, a lot of great things to talk about in regards to interest rates and uh, loan terms these days for mortgages. Absolutely. And also back in studio as well, we got Jason Salomon. He's our expert buyer representative uh, for the real estate company as well as a VP of Marketing with Crush Trap Marketing. Welcome back. Thanks, Brandon. Always a pleasure. Uh, today we got another segment of Ask the Real Estate Quarterback, as well as some other news in the real estate and business world. Excellent. And now I know for sure I just added two more guys to my wolf pack. <laughs> and so as well, I'm very happy to announce as well, we've got a new uh, credit expert, a partner here in studio as well, William Crawley. Uh, very happy to have him in studio as well, National Credit Restoration Assistance. Welcome to the studio, sir. Hey, this is my first time, but I'm just as excited as everybody else. I'll be talking to, uh, about a couple of things today. One is the uh, credit repair versus National Credit Restoration Assistance and the Fair Credit Reporting Act. Very pertinent information there, guys. As a listener out there, we want to educate, we want to entertain, but most importantly, we want to engage you and help you live a better life when it's relating to these these different types. And that's what makes this show different is that – you know, we're not just disconnected talking heads regurgitating some opinion like you see all over uh, the TV shows these days and, and or hitting these loud buzzers and bye bye. You know, it's, we're giving you great advice. We're giving you some free offers that you're going to hear as well uh, from the Real Estate Quarterback Show. And ultimately, our goal is to help our consumers win in any marketplace. The only thing I'm addicted to right now is winning. So let's uh, let's go ahead and get some shots out as well. We've got some really cool strategic partners out there. Warwick Dunn Charities. He's got a big golf tournament coming up in Atlanta, Georgia, and he helps uh, with single parent housing in, in conjunction with Habitat for Humanity. And uh, we've we've been a longtime partner and sponsor with Warwick Dunn Charities. Shots out. Warwick Dunn. Warwick spins to the ten. He's to the five. And most importantly, we want to make sure you have a way to engage us. So realestateradiotampa.com, you can submit the form. My promise to you is that I'm going to get back to you before my head hits the pillow. But I want you to pull out your smartphone and save this number in your phone because at some point you're going to need it. Again, we've got over 45 different show partners ranging from CPAs, financial advisors, credit experts, solar companies, all types of home services as, as inspection as well. So I want you to pull out your smartphone and save this number in your phone. It's 813 917 1894. Save that number in your phone because at some point you're going to need it. You know, you're going to get something attached to your uh, come in the mail to the mailbox, maybe dropped off at the front door, or maybe a family member may have something come up. And what we want to do is we want to be a, a, a non commission based advice show here, a consumer advocate. We're Tampa Bay's number one consumer advocate. And ultimately, there's a lot of bad information floating around out there. And that's what the goal of this show is. We want to help cut through all that nonsense that you see in the mainstream media. They're, they're more worried about sensationalisms, the latest car wreck and, and the robberies, or even the silly, you know, Kardashians. You know, how does that help you live a better life? Okay. That's what this show is going to do. And we're going to help you live that better life. And uh, let's start it off. Let's go ahead and kick it off here. I got Mark Spence. He's our platinum sponsor, uh, VP of Integrity Financial Services, back in studio. So, uh, what say you, Mark? Hey, man, I tell you, it's an exciting time right now in the mortgage business. Uh, so many opportunities for buyers, uh, first-time home buyers, to get into the, the opportunity of buying a home and, and, you know, taking that leap of, you know, taking the biggest investment they'll probably ever do in their life and also be able to start, you know, building equity and building wealth. Um, interest rates are at all-time lows still. You have buying power today where you wouldn't have it and you won't have it in the future with when interest rates really start to go up a little bit. 
Great point. Yeah, I was talking to a potential buyer this week, and you know, I always try to take that extra time when I'm on the phone, and I, and I want to try to educate people when I'm talking to them. But uh, the the person I was talking to, they were saying, "Well, I might just wait. I might just rent for six more months." And I said, "You know, here's why you might not want to do that. You know, we we've got the the Federal Reserve, the quantitative easing, all that process has ended. You've got the short term uh, lending rates from the banks. The um, Federal Reserve, Janet Yellen, they're poised to raise that at some point here. And so ultimately, I, I explained to them, I can't remember the price point exactly, the conversation, how it went. But, you know, ultimately, what could happen is, let's say right now, let's say you can get a 3.9, a 4.2. Again, I'm not going to quote a certain APR. I don't want the credit police coming after me here. But let's say you could get a 3.9% on a 30-year fixed mortgage, which is relevant. It's it's realistic, right? Very true, yeah. So you, as a homeowner, you could buy maybe a $150,000 house given your debt-to-income ratios, your income. Now, if those rates increase to 6.5%, 7% like they might, mm. like they very well could, now you're looking at an $80,000 house. Yeah, it's a $60,000 change in purchase price range. So that's a huge difference in regards to what people can afford. You know, interest rates, when they go up, it just changes everything as far as debt-to-income ratio requirements. And honestly, as rates go up, things get a lot tighter, too, because they know they have to be. Right. Rates are at, all, at those certain levels where they know delinquencies can immediately start to happen quickly. Yeah, and here's a, here's an article from the Florida Realtor Association. Uh, mortgage credit conditions best in years. The mortgage credit availability index, uh, 121.4 as of last month. This means that credit conditions in real estate financed loosened compared to February and have also improved since March when the MCAI was at 114. So pretty interesting there as well. Yeah, I mean, that's something that I think you really are seeing today is when people apply for a mortgage, they really do have good credit. You know, the credit, in essence, today is not like it was in the past where you had to have certain credit scores or you just didn't have any options. There's a lot of products and programs out there for really almost every type of buyer, even if you had a bankruptcy, you had a foreclosure. We have fresh start programs, people that are fresh out of bankruptcy. I mean, right. that, those are new programs that have not been around for less than 12 months. So those are a lot of opportunities that people don't know about. You know, first time home buyer programs, not going government with FHA, you can do 3% down. You know, first time home buyer really is just someone that hasn't owned a house in the last three years, not a true first time home buyer. Right. So people that had issues and went through credit issues and 2008 and 9 and now are back up ready to go. You know, they all qualify for that first time home buyer program again. Save some money. Reach out to Mark Spence Integrity Financial Services and uh, Tony Paredes over there as well uh, with Integrity Financial. Yeah, it, it's a great point that you're bringing up there there when you talk about, you know, I think a lot of times we get complacent in our in our positioning and and ultimately we want to help our listeners live a better life, leave a better legacy for their family. And what better way to do that than home ownership? And, and as you kind of alluded to, Mark, you've got you've got the uh, veteran loans. I mean, man, I had I had a speech this week. I, I did a, a presentation at a group, and um, one of the uh, ladies in the room, it was she didn't realize that the VA, you know, she just didn't know the facts. Mm -hmm. And I started talking about. It. I was like, oh yeah, that's it right there. You know? Yeah, I mean, VA, I, I say one thing's for sure. The government got one thing right when it came to veterans, and it was doing VA mortgages. Mm -hmm. um, there's no doubt that VA mortgages are the best product out there. If you're a veteran and you haven't taken advantage of your VA eligibility, you're really missing out. Um, interest rates are lower than every product out there for veterans. There's 100% financing. No other product's 100% financing. Right. Um, you can get... Um, you know, your VA funding fee waived if you have any type of 10% uh, disability or more with the VA. Yep. Um, and there's no mortgage insurance. I mean, it's just a win-win all the way around. Yeah, absolutely. And then also with Platinum MVP Realty, our real estate brokers, uh, what we're going to do for any veterans out there, we're, we're going to give a rebate back at closing back to the veterans out of the real estate commissions because my dad was an MP. Uh, you know, a lot of my family members and a lot of us in this room right now uh, were connected with the military at one point. And that's one thing that we're going to do. We're going to give back, you know, anywhere from a quarter point to a half point rebated back to your commission uh, at your to your closing costs at closing. Yeah, I mean, I think that's important that people realize, you know, that without the veterans, we wouldn't even be here, you know, today. Um, and what they do for us right now, active duty people that are now here in McDill that want to get, a, you know, purchase a new home. You know, integrity is the same way. We give yep. no lender fees whatsoever. We give back to veterans 100 percent. So zero lender fees for any VA loan out there for any veteran. Yep. And that's a great that's a great opportunity. So what we want to do again, we want to have an action call here. We want to provide you an opportunity 
to take action. You know, one of my mentors, Anthony Robbins, he talks about never leave the site of setting a goal without taking some small action step towards that goal. So it might be scheduling a phone call, scheduling a meeting, uh, buying that book, downloading an audio book. And, and start putting something positive out there, and it's going to come back to you. So um, what we want to do is for the first five listeners, uh, what we're going to do is a free value offer. We're going to let you know what the value of your home is, and that could potentially be for refinance purposes with Mark and Tony. It could potentially be to maybe sell your home. Obviously, I'm a top listing agent here in, in Tampa Bay, over 50 current listings featured in Florida Realtor Magazine twice in the last two years. Tampa Bay Business Journal and others, uh, but but ultimately what you want to do is take control of your situation. So what we're going to do is we're going to waive the five hundred dollar fee on this uh, this offer for the first five listeners who text in. We're going to give you a free comparable market analysis on your property for the first five listeners who text in. Text the word value to eight one three nine one seven eighteen ninety four. Text value now and you're going to get a free comparable market analysis on your home. Basically the same thing you pay five hundred bucks for an appraisal. For free. Compliments of the Real Estate Quarterback Show, Platinum MVP Realty, and Crush Craft Marketing. Uh, text value to 813-917-1894. All-star lineup, Intelligent Talk Radio here. And when we come back, we're going to talk about this story. Interesting story in the news. NBA All-Star Kevin Durant selling Lux Condo, uh, Lux Miami Condo in Miami for $3.5 million. That and more from our experts when we come back. Real Estate Radio Tampa.com. All right, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. Real Estate Quarterback Show, Tampa Bay's number one consumer advocate. Now, I want you to think of this show as the hub of your financial wheel, and each spoke extending out is going to represent another one of our preferred partners. We've got over 45 show partners now, ranging from CPAs, financial advisors, no matter what you need. I don't want you making a move in real estate without contacting us first. Anything real estate business related, we're going to be the connector for you. We're a super connector, and we're going to help you avoid all that bad information, all that bad advice, and commission-based advice is what I call it. And so, uh, Real Estate Quarterback Show, realestateradiotampa.com. And I want to welcome in my next guest. Now, uh, he's an expert contributor. This is William Crawley. He's, uh, He's the president of National Credit Restoration Assistance. And uh, so welcome into the studio, William, making your day ba- debut on the Real Estate Quarterback Show. Yeah, I'm here with my day bay. I'm sorry, debut. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how's it going? How's it going? It's good to be here. Um, I love the, inter- the discussions that we've had earlier with Mark. And uh, but I, one thing I want to do want to say is that it's an exciting industry in the credit industry as well, the credit repair industry. There's so many people out there with bad credit. Makes me just, I don't know, it gets me so excited. But nevertheless, <laughs> yep. what's, what's most impo- important about it is that people can overcome these obstacles rather simply by u- understanding and utilizing some of the uh, laws of the Fair Credit Reporting Act, the Fair Debt Collection Practice Act, yep. and even certain aspects of the Uniform Commercial Code. So, I mean, I don't want to bore people out there. I know people will probably say, <laughs> all, all this technical jargon and everything. But, I mean, I try to make it as humorous as possible. But yet and still, it's a serious situation. Right. I know that people have said in the past, don't worry about credit. I heard Mark say it earlier. But I know that's in a different scenario, a different setting. Everybody should worry about their credit, whether they can get a loan or not. If you have negative issues out there right. on your credit, address this information, okay? Because at some juncture, it can come back to haunt you. So and, and- address it. Even though you can consolidate a loan now, get a loan still address these issues. And on that point, that kind of brings us back around with Mark with something we talk about a lot is is a lot of times we get these buyer calls all the time. Jason is in studio as well. And, you know, we get these buyer calls and they're like, oh, you know, they want to put off that part of financing and, and getting that pre-approval and pulling their credit. But a lot of times, I mean, let's think, let's think about this. Just last year, we had credit breaches from J.P. Morgan, Target, Home Depot, P.F. Chang's, and there's probably five others I didn't think about here, but et cetera, right? right? So if something were to happen to your credit, how would you know about it? And then you're going to wait until it's 60 days until you're ready to move, your lease is up, and then all of a sudden you go and pull the credit, and then what do they find? Mm-hmm. You know, They're going to find errors. They're going to find all these different problems. So exactly. can you elaborate a little bit on that? Yeah, exactly. People, be, be proactive. I and mean, you could check your credit report once a year in the state of Florida. Now, in Georgia, I understand it's twice a year. But let me give out these two, uh, two websites that we, we yeah. I strongly recommend. Well, uh, you know, well let's, uh, let's save that as okay. a part of our package because that's what Great. we're going to do. We're gonna, we want to engage you as a listener out there. and we're, That's part of our package that we have to offer, which we're going to offer that later in this segment. So stay tuned uh, for this free credit package that William's going to offer. But, yeah, 
So, but you can elaborate on that process when you talk about pre-qualification. You talk about uh, what are you seeing out there on credit reports? I mean, man? most time people, most of the time people don't even check their credit, and they wait to go to the lender and then let the lender become a credit expert in explaining the credit. When their a job is to sell you the property, so I tell people. Look at this stuff ahead of time. Look at this information ahead of time. Even, you know, give me a call or whatever the case may be. Contact the, the, the uh, station here, the number that's been given out. Yep. We can get we can have people to become proactive, checking this information out prior to right. going to the lender. Don't waste the lender's time. The lender wants to sell you a property. So right. let's let's address these issues ahead of time. Yeah. And and I mean, we've got a program that uh, is, is similar to credit repair, but we like to say it's credit repair on steroids. National Credit Restoration Assistance. We're assisting people. And, and cleaning up their credit and helping them to really understand the Fair Credit Reporting Act and how it benefits the consumer. I mean, there's a ton of information out there. And, and cut me off if I go too far. No, no. Good. But nevertheless, there's a ton of information out there. But what most people don't know is that everything on their credit report is inaccurate, positive, negative, et cetera. Yeah. Because the Fair Credit Reporting Act of 1970 specifically states that the information has to be verified by the credit reporting agency. It's none of it's been ver- verified. Right. Nobody out there has received a call from a credit reporting agency. Yep. And a lot of times people tell me they received a call from a credit reporting agency. I say, no, you're mistaken. That's a collection agency, not the credit right. reporting agency. Right. <laughs> it's a $5 billion a year oh, industry. Man, is it? It's and, crazy. And they're not in business to protect us or to help us. What they want to do is they want to sell your information to, to insurance companies, mortgage, realtors, all these different companies. And they're not worried about the accuracy. So uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a first time first here. If we, if we, okay, let's go ahead and do this credit offer. And then I bet you $100 that if we pull your credit and William cannot find at least one inaccuracy on it, I'm going to give you a $100 bill. I'm going to write you a check for $100. And I promise it's not going to bounce. Uh, we're going we're gonna to write you a check. But here's, so for the first five listeners who want to reach out and take advantage of this offer, what we're going to do is we're going to give you a free credit package, compliments of William, William Crawley, and it's going to teach you how to, number one, opt out of pre-screening. Cut off all that junk mail coming to your mailbox that people come by and rob that junk mail. Then they know who you are, where you live, and then they just got to connect a couple other dots, and they now your identity stolen. So let's, cut, let's teach you how to opt out of pre-screening. And we're also going to reduce your chance of identity theft through that process. And, and if you want to sit down with William, he's a nice guy. He'll do a consultation with you as well. And uh, we're going to teach you how to get that free credit report that he's talking about, how to actually get a free credit report. And here's a hint. It's not those guys jumping around like a bunch of idiots on those TV commercials <laughs> and that are asking you for your credit report. And there's no back-end solicitation here. There's no drip campaign, no back-end solicit- solicit- uh, solicitation or any of those that, that you find with other places. So for the first five listeners, what we're going to do is we're going to offer this free credit package. Uh, we got to limit it to five. Uh, so text the word credit to our Consumer Advocate Hotline. That's 813-917-1894. And if we can't find inaccuracies on your, inaccuracies on your credit report, I'm going to show you the money. Show me the money! Okay, so text the word credit to 813-917-1894. So that'll be interesting to see if we can find some inaccuracies on there. I mean, if not, 100 bucks to you. And let me just say, the biggest perpetrator, you had already mentioned it earlier, but let me reiterate this. The biggest perpetrator of identity theft is the credit reporting agencies themselves. People need to understand the importance of putting a promotional block on their credit report. And uh, that'll be part of the package that uh, that you'll receive once you call in. Awesome. Yeah, there's there's a lot to talk about when you talk about credit improvement, identity theft prevention and recovery. Hey, listen, guys, we weren't taught it in school. There's no credit police. And so what happens when you get your identity theft stolen? You know, what happens then? How, where do you go? You go into the police office. What are they going to do? They may give you a couple pamphlets and hand out and say, hey, call this number, call this. But, um, you know, hey, it's something that we want to help you, again, live a better life and engage us. And that's our goal. We want to give you back. Okay, great. And so, yeah, and one, one thing I want to uh, elaborate on as well is when you said we, if, it, if you are a victim of identity theft, just because you're a victim of identity theft doesn't mean the information comes off your credit report. That's why it's important for each consumer oh, yeah. to know about that Fair Credit Reporting Act, to dispute the information, because we're going after information that does belong to you and, of course, that doesn't belong to you, but specifically the information that does belong to you, the bankruptcy, tax liens, judgment, foreclosures, uh, inquiries, et cetera. Yep. This information we know is, is uh, truthful information, but the credit reporting agencies have not properly verified this information right. prior to putting it on the credit report. Therefore, it's on there improperly and, Improper. and pretty much illegally. Right. Uh, and, and I've also heard this in medical. You know, there's I heard a story uh, from a gentleman, a friend of mine in California. His wife went in to do a medical procedure, and they had the wrong credit profile attached to the file or medical history as well. 
and somehow that whole thing got botched and ended up causing a big time delay. Can you imagine going in for a, a surgery that you need and then all of a sudden they, they pull credit or whatever might happen with that process? Uh, man. And, and, and even when you're dealing with the medical institutions, the HIPAA laws come into effect as well. They're not supposed to release that information to a third party right. without your consent. So that may be where it's at then. So yeah. so they're like, well, prove to me that you who you who you say you are because this document here shows exactly that might man. be it. But I mean, uh, yeah, I could talk on and on and on, but I know you know you don't. Let's want save me. some for the next segment here. <laughs> All, right. All right, so hey, when we come back, you're listening to Real Estate Quarterback Show. But when we come back, we're going to talk about NBA All Star Kevin Durant selling his Lux Miami condo for three and a half million dollars. Let's talk a little bit about that and more from our experts in studio, Real Estate Radio Tampa dot com. All right, welcome back. Thanks for sticking with us. Real Estate Quarterback Show, Intelligent Talk Radio. I've got some intelligent folks in studio with me. And a lot of great conversations go on between the breaks, man. I tell you, yeah, a lot of great content here between the breaks. But uh, we want to introduce you uh, to uh, our platform here. If you haven't seen us, it's the Real Estate Quarterback Show. Uh, we've got a TV show now streaming as well. And um, making some moves here in Tampa Bay. We're helping a lot of people, and, and ultimately that's the number one thing is that we have this pay-it-forward model with all of our businesses uh, Homestrong USA is another example where we give away a mortgage-free property to a veteran, active military, or first responder for every home that we sell nationwide through that program. Um, Homestrong USA, again, shots out to our troops. And, um, you know, let's jump back into this great content. i got a couple of hot listings, actually, I want to touch on. I've got 5506 Beeman Du Loop in Lando Lakes. This is a four-bedroom, five-and-one-half bath property, uh, $1.275 million dollars that we just reduced this property. It's custom-built, high-end home, situated on gorgeous Lake Thomas in a private gated community. And that's 5506 Beam and Dew Loop. I got a pocket listing here. First time I've done this, I'm going to pitch this pocket listing. Uh, it's in the beautiful community of Water Chase, uh, right there in just the heart of kind of like the West Chase area. Beautiful, a little bit on the north side of Tampa Bay. But uh, I got a pocket listing in there. I just, I just uh, locked this deal down yesterday. And uh, if you have uh, potential buyers in that area or you want to be in that area you got to call me i I got a great deal in that property of water chase and um we also have 219 18th avenue and this is indian rocks beach uh two bedroom two bath townhome property it's uh five hundred seventy thousand dollars bring your boat to this broders boaters paradise key west style townhouse featuring a 22 foot wide dock with the ability to moor up to a 65 foot vessel and it's literally a two minute walk to the beach cross golf boulevard you're on the beach and there's an awesome sky deck at the top of that. That's one of my favorite listings. It's got a nice sky deck at the top, and you can just see for miles. Gorgeous sunsets at this property. And so you're listening to the Real Estate Quarterback Show. I'm your host, Brandon Rimes, here. I'm a top agent in Tampa Bay, over 50 current listings, and uh, featured in Florida Realtor Magazine, other magazines as well. And uh, we're, we're doing some big things here in Tampa. I'm bringing a lot of experts on the air with me. And, again, I've got two intelligent folks here in studio uh, for our program today. I've got Mark Spence, Integrity Financial Services. He's the vice president over there. I've got William Crowley as well. He's our credit expert in studio here uh, with National Credit Restoration Assistance, Credit Improvement. And Jason Salmon, he's our expert buyer agent in studio as well as VP of Marketing with Crush Craft Marketing, kind of a division of the Real Estate Quarterback Show uh, conglomerate of companies. And, Jason, let's start off. Let's go ahead and do that Ask the QB segment. I love that segment. Uh, yeah, so we're back with another segment of the Real Estate Ask the Real Estate Quarterback Show. Uh, this is brought to you by Platinum MVP Realty. And, uh, and I think, actually, these questions are going to be uh, great questions for our expert contributors today. I think they, they kind of fall on your guys' expertise, and so... In turn, I think we'll get some great content. Uh, our first question today is actually going to come from James from Facebook. And, uh, and that question is, 15-year, 30-year mortgages, uh, which one is best? Yeah, and there's a lot of variables there. So w- when we talk about that, and, and ultimately there's a couple places where this conversation is going to go. We're gonna, I'm going to let Mark elaborate a little bit about a biweekly payment program. And uh, what I would say as, uh, you know, if you're looking at getting into a home mortgage, you might be able to get a little bit better rate on a 15 now, the 30 is going to be a better, safer play in terms of not committing to too much overhead per month. Say, should something happen, some medical issue come up, something ha- the car breaks down, whatever that happens, depending on your, your emergency fund, you know, like, um, you know, Dave Ramsey talks about, you got to have that emergency fund in place just in case something happens. But yeah, 15 year and you put it on a biweekly payment program. Now, that's a winning, winning game plan, Mark. 
Yeah, I mean, I think what you're saying is very true, and we see that a lot with our clients and, you know, debating on, well, they see a lower interest rate with a 15-year term versus a higher rate with a 30-year, but you're usually talking about a one-point difference in interest rate. So, in theory, it's not as much as you would see maybe in, if you thought about a difference. That's a big difference in term. But the big thing that I would tell you that people don't realize is 30-year fixed mortgages are meant to get people into a home. They're not right. meant to be paid off. Right. There is so much back-end interest on a 30-year fixed mortgage, three times the amount that there would be on a 15-year fixed mortgage. Right. But the difference is, is that you kind of control, if you take a 30-year fixed mortgage, you never have to worry about your, ch your payment changing. You've got a fixed rate. But you have the ability to say, you know, I do have extra income or I have disposable income and I would like to pay down my mortgage quicker than the normal 30 year and, and eliminate a lot of that interest that is on the back of that loan. And by making one extra payment, a, a, a you know, a year, you can yep. pay it, you know, annually, you can pay it monthly, however you want to do it. But just one extra principal and interest payment a year yep. is going to take your loan down from 30 to about 22 years. So if you did that twice, just two extra payments, two to three a year, you'd be at a 15 year fixed mortgage anyway. Way. Great point. Great point. And the word, you know, it's interesting. I always think about this when I talk, we talk about amortization, amortization. That is that word is derived from the Latin and it says to die slow is the name <laughs> to die slow. And then something else I was thinking of is when we were speaking there, Mark, is that, you know, back in the day, I was an Argent represent. I worked uh, as an account executive for Argent Mortgage. You know, there's New Century, all Long Beach Savings and Loans, all these subprime and I remember towards the end, there was a 50-year mortgage that was coming out. Right. 50-year mortgage. There's a 40-year mortgage, a 40 and they were even talking about a 50. 50. I, I, we actually originated a few 50-year mortgages back in 2005. Shame on you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there was not. It was because, again, they looked at it as they wanted to get people into homes. It's an instrument. You know, it is. It's just getting someone into it to allow them to be able to take advantage of buying a house. But It's a financial instrument. But there's just so much interest on these types of loans that yeah. people just need to look at their options. A 20 20-year fixed term really is a nice segue if you felt like you could afford that and didn't feel comfortable. There like you, go. you didn't have to worry about the future of something coming up and, and hindering your monthly payment. Right. Mm -hmm. That's a nice fine line in the middle there. Uh, let's, let's go back to the REQB question here. Let's see what Jason Salmon has for us. Yes, yeah, so we got another question today from Timothy via email, and he wanted to know, if I have the ability, should I pay off my mortgage early? Okay, interesting question. Again, depends. There's a lot of variables there. You know, ultimately, first thing pops in my mind is you're 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 limiting your options in terms of tax write-offs. You know, Key Skane, American Dream CPA. Uh, there are guys in terms of cat uh, tax write-offs and and uh, helping me with my personal plans. And it's more about a plan. You know, so you got to take a look at all these as an overall comprehensive plan. But yeah, to pay your mortgage off or not to pay your mortgage off, Mark. Yeah, I mean, I think it's something that really depends on the specific situation of the of that specific person's overall financial, you know, situation. Right. I mean, in theory, if you have no mortgage payment, obviously you're going to be able to build wealth a different way and save it and invest it and do other things with it, but you don't have an interest write-off that really is the only write-off you have these days with the IRS. <laughs> so that interest deduction is a big thing. Yeah. Um, but you know, if you look at where money is today and money being so cheap, right. I don't really believe today, and this is my opinion, that right. you would want to pay off your mortgage. Take right. advantage of cheap money today and invest it other ways and be able to build wealth and take advantage of the cheap money. Right. Uh, but that would be, again, based on a specific situation of a person meeting with their CPA and their financial advisor to really understand their yep. overall profile. Yeah, you want to look at cost of funds and you want to look at the time value of money. You know, going back to the old finance classes, the time value of money. And uh, it's amazing what Excel spreadsheets can do for you in those situations. But uh, yeah, great point. Yeah. Uh, let's let's get that credit question in for uh, William here. Yeah. Be so uh, before that credit qu credit question, though, let me just expound on that. Uh, I know yeah. he uh, he said that the fifteen versus thirty. My my biggest uh, 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 advantage to that would be is to as long as they keep their payments on time. That's the main thing for me. Okay, right, keep the payments side. on time whether you do it fifteen or thirty years. Okay. Yep. Just want to chime in on that before you uh, yeah pose that question. Sure, sure. And I think I think this one's going to be right up your alley, William. Mm -hmm. But uh, we have Franklin via Facebook who wanted to know. Uh, I need to, if I need to improve my credit, what's kind of the first step I'm going to take to do that? Right. And I, I believe one of the first steps to do is when you call in, you're going to get this packet. It's going to tell you to check your credit report. Everybody should check their credit report. It's free. Check it at least once a year. And, in, of course, in the state of Georgia, it's twice a year. But I think uh, in Florida, it's once a year. Check it. Check it. And call, so call in on that. You can get that uh, in the packet. 
Yep. Check that credit. And then once you check it and you see the blemishes on there, and I promise you there will be blemishes on there because everything on that credit report is in- inaccurate. But what we want to focus on is the negative information, of course, inquiries, late payments, charge-offs, collection, et cetera, and then attack that information using the Fair Credit Reporting Act. No, Change I, it. Go I, ahead, I think that's I think that's a great point, William. I really think, you know, I'm even learning some things today, uh, you know, from William on credit, and I'll, uh, I'll be making sure I'll give him a call as well. Great. Yeah, and let's switch gears a little bit. Let's talk a little bit about down payment assistance. I get this question sometimes as well. And and when we talk about down payment assistance, I think it's more geared towards the the, the municipalities what they have to offer. And you got to you have an income qualification level that you need to meet. And of course, and and it's a great story here. I mean, this is a literally a story that I did for a family member, um, David down in in uh, South Florida. He uh, he was a first time buyer. We were able to allocate. I was able to get him twenty five thousand dollars from one source and twenty thousand dollars from another source, and it was so that's forty five thousand dollars of free down payment assistance money that you do not have to pay back. Now it's structured as a as a second lien on the property, so if you do vacate the property or if you sell the home, then you don't you don't uh, you know have an opportunity to realize that you have to pay that back. But down payment assistance programs, let's let's swing that over to Mark. Yeah, I mean, down payment assistance programs, they're really, depending on, you know, the area that it's located, you know, the the county that the property is located in or the specific city, they do have down payment assistance programs that borrowers, first-time home buyers can qualify for. Um, it is something that, you know, you should look at if you feel like you don't have any ability to put down even 3% or getting a gift for 35 or 3% because gift funds are 100% allowed. Great point. Gift points um, are allowed on all FHA, VA, everything? Yeah, conventional? and even unconventional. Really? Okay. Yeah, it's in, okay. And so that's, again, where you show loosening of the products and allowing, trying to do what they can to get first-time home buyers into homes today under normal conventional programs even. But, you know, the other thing you have to look at is down payment assistance programs, they have to go through their, the borrower has to go through their own qualifying specific separate with that specific municipality in regards to whatever their down payment assistance program is. So not everyone will qualify for their guidelines. They're very strict in some, in some, in some cases in regards to income that the, the family can have as a household income, um, or even debt to income ratio for what they, you know, debt wise, what do they have? But it is yeah. something that we can help with and we'll be glad to, you know, we always research them for our clients and give them lists of, of the down payment assistance programs. So if they want to take advantage of it and look into it, they can. Okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and get this in here. NBA All-Star Kevin Durant selling Lux Miami condo for $3.5 million. The Oklahoma City Thunder All-Star Kevin Durant put his condo up for sale reportedly the same day. Uh, underwent bone graft surgery on his right foot. Uh, three bedrooms, four and a half bath, a view of downtown Miami because of the condo is located in the fourth tallest building in Miami, 900 Biscay Bay. And uh, Durant's future has been a long, uh, hot topic in the NBA, trying to see where he's going to go. Yeah, and I would just like to reach out to Kevin Durant and say I'd be happy to find him his home in Oklahoma City. There you go. I'm completely, uh, I'm completely okay with yeah. that. And if you have any credit issues, I'll address that. There you go. <laughs> and so we got a uh, next. When we come up in next break, we're going to talk also next segment about build. There's a bill that would stop feds from mandating backdoor to data. Very interesting. A lot of stuff going on with NSA. Edward Snowden. I saw that on HBO. His where they. <gasps> went to his hotel room but you're listening to intelligent talk radio real estate quarterback show real estate radio tampa.com all right welcome back thanks for sticking with us brandon rhymes here real estate quarterback show this segment brought to you by freedom boat club the official recreation partner of the Real Estate Quarterback Show. Uh, go say hello to Mike Craig over at Freedom Boat Club right here in South Tampa. There's 11, uh, 13 locations throughout Tampa Bay. I just went to a social over uh, in Tarpon this week at uh, their location over there. Great social, but a great group. And I tell you, you know, the the what's the joke? The the best day and the the two best days of a boater's life is when they buy it and when they sell it, right? <laughs> Freedom Boat Club is the way to go. You you show up, you bring your cooler, you bring your towels, and you're off on the boat for the day. You come back. Let's say you went out fishing and the boat's all dirty and uh, you fish stuff in the bottom. You don't have to clean it. You 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 tip the guy and you walk on. You keep going. So uh, you tip the captain and you keep going. So Mike Craig, Freedom Boat Club, tell them the real estate quarterback show sent you. 
uh, for special incentives. And also Hula Bay is our official restaurant partner. We're getting ready to head over to lunch now in our limousine provided by uh, Tampa Limo and Car, uh, Roberto Gonzalez. And also we're going over to Hula Bay. It's our official restaurant partner. And going to have a great meal on the waterfront down there. It's located just south of Gandy Boulevard and uh, just south on West Shore. Make a ride on Tyson, the best-kept secret in Tampa Bay. So let's touch on a couple of hot listings before we jump back into this great content. We've got 3231 Pine View Drive in Holiday. Now, this is a five bedrooms, three bath property, $475,000. Another waterfront beautiful home I have listed in Holiday, Florida, in the Bailey Bluff Estates. Also, we've got 4704 Ashton Court in Tampa. This is a nice Carrollwood property in the Stonehenge subdivision. Uh, pride of ownership definitely comes through in this home, uh, listed at $230,000. And I've got a 27-acre ranch in the heart of Tampa. Now, this this ranch opportunity, it's a great, great opportunity for developers, for builders. Maybe you want to build a nice home in the middle of Tampa with close proximity to all the shopping. It's literally three minutes south of the Citrus Park Mall. And it's in uh, the Carrollwood area, the Citrus Park area. 27-acre ranch for sale, 10 acres at forty nine nine per acre. The next 10 acres jumped up to ninety nine nine per acre. And then there's another seven and a half acres as well. Set up currently as a ranch, youth ranch. Uh, the seller is, is a, a has operating as a ranch with horses and things like that. It's got a beautiful creek that runs through it. But reach out to the Real Estate Quarterback Show for this or any of your uh, of our other listings. And there are multiple ways to reach out. Okay, we got Real Estate Radio Tampa dot com is our website. You see video with Tampa Mayor Bob Buckhorn on our show. Work done uh, representing work done charities. Uh, you can also reach our Consumer Advocate Hotline. That's at our 813-917-1894. And also check out this technology. It's a savvy card. All you have to do is text the word, text the letters R-E like real estate, Q-B like quarterback, text R-E-Q-B to 72889. It's a short code. So in the two line, you put 72889, where you'd put the phone number of the person you're texting. And then in the content of the message, text REQB, and you're going to see all my listings, all of my links to all my partners, my experts in studio today. You're going to see their savvy card. It's going to come up right on your smartphone. And you see all these listings, all these, all my other listings that you're, that we're talking about here today. So let's jump back into this. We've got some intelligent talk radio, and let's talk a little bit about uh, a little bit out of the scope of mortgages and credit, but it's uh, very relevant to what we're talking about uh, in terms of general, uh, you know, things happening in the United States. Here, we've got Aaron Kelly from the USA Today. It says there's a bill that would stop the feds from mandating this backdoor to data. So there's a bipartisan group of lawmakers that's set to push for legislation that would bar federal agents from forcing technology companies to give them access to customers' emails, texts, and photos. And so I'm all for this. I'll tell you, it's the uh, Surveillance State Repeal Act, which includes a provision that the federal government cannot require electronics or software manufacturers to build in a mechanism to allow the government to bypass privacy technology. So, yeah, unbelievable uh, what's happening. And we saw the Edward Snowden and there's, you know, there's the, the mainstream media is going to try to paint him to be this traitor and he's given up all these things. But what he is, I think, is a patriot. He's, he's, he's telling us as American people, hey, your government is intruding. Your government is is uh, overreaching in certain areas. And, you know, the Patriot Act started when we had this war and, you know, what's going on. So I could, we could go on a rabbit trail there, but let's not. Let's just stick to the to what we're doing with the Real Estate Quarterback Show. Unless, and somebody want to elaborate on that. Yeah, so just just speaking about that, uh, just for a minute, going down the yeah. the rabbit hole is, uh, you know, you mentioned that they classify Edward Snowden as a terrorist. You know, what's interesting is when you think back to you know when our country started, the founding fathers, by definition, the founding fathers were terrorists. <laughs> they fought against their current government, which was King King Edward or, or, or yeah. whatever the King of England was. At King the time. George. So they rebelled against him and they overthrew that government that was on top of him. So by classification, the founding fathers were terrorists based on definition. Yeah. Now I'm not saying that actively, but no. Yeah. And, and then the other thing on the same subject is that all these backdoor searches that they're doing through these software companies, uh, manufacturers, is they're doing it illegally. It, they're doing it with no warrant, no court order. Yep. And it's all based on Patriot Act nonsense. You know, yep. they could classify anyone as a terrorist and then go yep. look at whatever you're doing just because they called you a terrorist. And they can not hold because you they can too. prove anything. And they can hold you, yeah, with with no warrant. They don't have to tell anyone under the the NDAA. Yep. Yeah, so Unbelievable. So yeah. yeah, it's a violation of the Constitution as well. Exactly. I agree. So we should yep. definitely be aware so of that. Time for us as a people to to you know get engaged. That's the, see that's right. the thing that happens is people were so caught up today with our social media. 
uh, with these reality TV shows, wasting time on some of this stuff. And that's why this show is different. We want to help you engage. We want to provide you the timely truths centered around real estate, credit, finance, credit improvement. And so let's go ahead and jump into our lightning round. All right, so we're going to go here. We're going to go consumer advocate tips, things to do, things to avoid. Uh, Mark Spence, VP of Integrity Financial Services, you're up. I would definitely say if you're a first-time home buyer or someone that's already you know purchased property in the la- in the past, you know, are you looking to purchase a new home today or a second home maybe here in beautiful Florida? Absolutely. Take advantage of it today. Take advantage of these low historic rates. They're not going to be here forever. Um, and you know, get into this you know finance low cheap money. I mean, just the cheap money is just unbelievable. And the buying power is great. And it's a seller's market. So get in now. Get in with the appreciation of the values going up here in Tampa Bay. Everybody wants to be in Tampa. There's Absolutely. no doubt about that. So that's what I would say. And I tell everyone, and if you are looking to get pre-approved, start the process early that's so right. we can look at your credit. We can evaluate if there's any issues. Anything we need to take advantage A big thing we see all the time is disputes on people's credit. Yep. You can't purchase a house if there's disputes active on your current credit report. Right. Those are things that take time to get off. So it's just things like that that we can help and you know add value in, in those ways to get you through the process. Tampa Bay, St. Pete, Clearwater, the greatest place in the United States to live. Sun is shining, the weather is sweet. <laughs> All right, next up we got William Crawley. What is your consumer advocate tip? He's the president of National Credit Restoration Assistance. I want to speak to the lenders out there in specific because a lot of times these people come in, their credit is bad, but that just doesn't necessarily mean they're bad people. They just ran into some type of financial obstacles in their way. So what I'm here to do is to help them to overcome those obstacles, address this information in a legal format, and have this information removed. Now, of course, we want people to be proactive so that when you go to the lender, you won't have to address this type of information because it will already be off the credit report and there won't be any type of uh, disputes in their pending that's going to uh, inhibit the loan. So proactive, proactive, proactive. Get on top of this stuff now. And remember, lenders, these people, just because they have negative issues on their credit report doesn't mean they're bad people. And plus, it's helping your bottom line because you're making a sale. That's right. Hey, that's been the theme of this show is to be proactive, to reach out. And I want to recap. I want to thank everyone for coming in studio, all the the folks helping out behind the scenes, all of our team, our interns that help us put this show together together. And I want to remind you that we have a couple of offers out there. We'll go ahead and repeat those offers. If you want to get a credit package or you want to get a value on your home, uh, let's go ahead and do that. And, Mark, real quick, let's get your offer in as well. Yeah, for the first three callers, we'd give you a $1,000 lender credit back towards closing costs for any purchase or refinance. If you're, you know, So definitely call in, and we'll be glad to help you. Wow, thanks for doing that. I appreciate you taking care of our listeners. So we're offering a credit package if you want to learn how to opt out of pre-screening, cut off the junk mail, get the free credit report, and uh, have an opportunity to sit down with our credit expert. Mark's offering that package as well. It's a $1,000 lender credit uh, for the first three listeners. And then also if you want to do a free CMA, comparable market analysis, so text in to our Consumer Advocate Hotline. It's at 813-917-1894. Now, if you're not a texter, you can call, leave a voicemail, and, and we'll definitely you know res- uh, respond as well. And realestateradiotampa.com is the site you want to bookmark. Save that site as a favorite on your computer or your phone. And uh, you, another great episode here, Real Estate Quarterback Show, Platinum MVP Realty, Crush Craft Marketing, uh, also represented at Integrity Financial Services. And we've got William Crawley as well, National Credit Restoration Assistance. Thanks so much. Tune in next week. We'll see you here.